the total mass of the three quarks in a proton is approximately 0.01 AMU. Wait, but wasn't the mass of a proton 1.0 AMU? So the mass of the three quarks that constitute the proton is 1 one hundredth of the total mass. Just 1%? Yes, that's right. So that must mean that there are other pieces, right? Nope, just the three quarks. So what constitutes the other 99% of the mass of a proton or neutron? The answer is binding energy. Gluons, or the gluon field, binds the three quarks together within each proton and neutron. This is the strong nuclear force. This force is so powerful that it absolutely dwarfs the strength of all other fundamental forces. The strong nuclear force is about 100 times stronger than electromagnetism. The strong nuclear force is a million times stronger than the weak nuclear force. The strong nuclear force is 100 trillion 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 times stronger than gravity. I can't really comprehend that either. Remember Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared. The binding energy, the strong nuclear force in the gluon field is so powerful that it contributes 99% of the mass to each proton and neutron in the universe. This force is like the most powerful rubber band imaginable, holding the three quarks together within each proton or neutron. It is so powerful that protons almost never break apart or decay. What this means is that your mass, your weight on planet Earth, along with the mass of everything you can see, everything, is 1% elementary particles, mostly quarks and a tiny bit electrons, and fully 99% binding energy. When I learned that fact, it blew my mind. I have pondered on it many times over the years. It still amazes me. We are 99% binding energy. Let that sink in. We're 99% binding energy. Who knew that Yoda had it right? We are all bound together by a field of energy, the gluon field, or the strong nuclear force. Please check out full video and audio episodes of Being Humans Together on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify.